Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the corruption at FIFA. Obviously, if you do follow the footballing world, you know that there's been a bit of a corruption recently uh, in the hindsight of the presidential election with uh, Sepp Blatter and all that. So basically, in 2015, the election was scheduled for the FIFA presidency again, and uh, Sepp Blatter was running for it alongside uh, Prince Ali bin Hussein. Uh, he was the only uh, opponent in the election. Uh, again, Blatter was expected to win, and uh, this was for a fifth consecutive time that he was expected to win as well. So the voting took place the 29th of May 2015, and uh, neither party received the necessary two-thirds majority of those in the first round, with Blatter receiving 133 votes to Prince Ali 73. According to FIFA rules, a second round should have been held by the two candidates with a civil majority being sufficient to the victory. Uh, that obviously... That's basically saying that Blatter was expected to win, as you can tell, he had 133 votes. We'll go on to the uh, corruption side of things in a minute or two. So, however, before the second round of voting commenced, Prince Ali, as uh, many of you might know, withdrew uh, from the, uh, you know, voting uh, part of the campaign and everything. And uh, this handed uh, Sepp Blatter victory by default, you know, straight away. On the 2nd of June 2015, now this month, FIFA abruptly called a press conference at the Zurich headquarters, where Blatter announced he would resign from the, from the post of FIFA presidency, uh, you know, uh, resign as the FIFA president amid the ongoing corruption scandal. Now, during the new conference, as uh, Blatter said... Uh, this. So he said, my mandate does not appear to be supported by everyone and, and announced an extraordinary Congress schedule as soon as possible to elect a success. So he wants, you know, someone to be, take over as soon as possible because he's going to be leaving uh, next year, I believe. Blatter has announced he will remain in office until a successor could be elected at the extraordinary Congress likely to be held sometime between December 2015 and March 2016. He continued the words, while I have a mandate from the membership of FIFA, I do not feel I have a mandate from the entire world of football, the fans, the players, the club. The player who the player people we believe in, sorry, and love football as much as we do at FIFA. So, uh, there's actually a website uh, that you can go see every everybody who's been involved in this sort of corruption cases of at least over ten people, and uh, the FBI FBI have actually got involved in this as well, and they are actually investigating FIFA. Uh, for this corruption case, which opened in May of uh, this year, and uh, basically they're investigating the wire fraud, racketeering, and money laundering. If you do know what that is, the investigation mostly revolved around the collusion between officials of continental football bodies, uh, Conembol and Concaf, uh, which is the Caribbean, Caribbean, Central, North America, and the Conembol, the South American. I'm probably saying that wrong. I do apologize. And sports marketing executive, the sport marketing executives. Holders of media and marketing rights for high profile international competitions, including America's FIFA World Cup qualifying tournaments and Showpiece Concap Gold Cup and Copa America. So, in total, seven FIFA officials were arrested at the hotel bar in Zurich on May the 27th. They were preparing to attend the 60th FIFA Congress, obviously, to vote for whoever's going to be taking over on FIFA. And uh, they were apparently suspicion that this is what has been said apparently. Just, uh, 150 million US dollars have been, uh, you know, uh, bribed, basically. People have been bribed for that much. And it was also a simultaneous raid on the Con CONCAF headquarters in Miami. This case has been triggered in Australia, Colombia, Costa Rica, and Switzerland to open or intensify a separate criminal investigation in the top official, uh, uh, top FIFA officials for corruption. So here are a few of the people who are uh, accused. So... It's cost us Takas, Jeffrey Webb, Rafael Esquivel, Eguindo Figueredo, Eduardo Lee. So just people like that are a few of them who are uh, accused. And the verdict are is that Chuck Blazer, now Chuck Blazer is, uh, has spoken out about uh, being bribed, basically to al allowing the South African to as an attend to host the World Cup. And uh, this basically, uh, you know, he spoke like another huge, uh, you know, Another huge, uh, but you know, uh, it basically opened up another huge investigation. I was trying to say, and uh, you know, half of these guys have have, have, have got a guilty plea, and uh, we're still not entirely sure what's going to happen. If anyone's going to be jailed or anything, I basically wanted to make this video to give my opinion on what's on what's happened. So, with Seth Blatter uh, resigning, I think that's the best thing for FIFA. I think it's about time you know he steps down and. Uh, let someone else take over from his reign. Uh, I, I assume it would have been Prince Ali, but apparently, this is what I've heard as well, 
uh, it's not my really, it's not really the place for to say if uh, this is true or not. Apparently, this uh, Prince Ali, he was uh, going uh, up against Sepp Blatter for the FIFA presidency, he was also involved in the bribes, and uh, is also apparently one of the people who are now being accused as well. So Blatter's resignation uh, happened on the 29th, and uh, like I did say, he will continue to serve serve uh, FIFA president until someone else has been appointed. Uh, on May the 29th, he, was, he won the re-election, but four days later, he resigns. And there's, you know, there's a lot of people who are being, now being looked at. There's Jack Warner, who on the 31st of May posted a self-defense video on his Facebook page, which proclaimed his innocence. There was Chuck Blazer, uh, who obviously said he's been arrested on indication, and indicate, indicated on corruption and bribery charges previously. And uh, he's claimed, like others, uh, they've been acting, acting in a way to uh, basically do a scheme up to uh, bribe FIFA and CONCAF to host rights services by taking undisclosed bribes, which is uh, apparently what's been said. And obviously, like I said, this has got uh, connotations with the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. There's also a thing called the Gloves Off video. On June 3rd, following both the resignation of Seb Blatter and the relevations of the former FIFA executive Chuck Blazer, so basically Chuck Blazer opening up about what's happened, former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner, someone else who's been accused uh, of uh, basically playing a part in this uh, little corruption scandal. FIFA declared in a televised political address that he was no longer to be paid to keep secrets from those who actively seek to destroy the, the country. The country is talking about it, Trinidad and Tobago. And that the gloves were off. Uh, he also claimed to have a compiled a comprehensive detailed series of documents including checks and corroborating statements which has revealed his knowledge about certain transactions of FIFA including but not limited to the President Sepp Blatter. Claiming further that he feared for his life, he claimed that not even death will stop the avalanche that is coming. He dies, cats, there can be no turning back, let the chips where they fall. So, you know, uh, from what Jack Warner said, you know, nothing really good is going to happen uh, for FIFA in the coming weeks and months anyway. So, basically, I've highlighted what, what, what they're being accused of, wire fraud, racketeering, money laundering, and, uh, you know, this is FIFA we're talking about, an international sports governing, governing body. And at the end of May, actually, uh, folk correct figures. 14 people were, ind were indicted in connection with an investigation by the U.S. Federal Bureau of uh, Investigation, that's the FBI, and the Internal Revenue Service criminal, criminal investigation uh, for obviously wire fraud and everything. Now, there is a Wikipedia page on this. This is probably what, uh, as you see, probably know why I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm getting a few bits of information off there. I'm basically giving my opinions on it. Now, this is an, a little bit of a different video that I normally do, and uh, I just wanted, you know, so basically say what I think about it like I did say I think it's the best thing for FIFA and the only way FIFA can really go forward is by Sepp Blatter resigning and uh, I'm also very intri intrigued to see what you guys think about uh, what's gone on at FIFA recently I mean I personally think a new uh, head of uh, you know someone in, in, new in charge of FIFA would be the best one forward and I think that uh, Luis Figo who's actually been going uh, for the presidency apparently is uh uh, someone who I feel should take over from FIFA. He's a guy who's got a lot of knowledge, and uh, I think he'll probably do a lot better than Sepp Blatter's done. Obviously, Luis, Luis Figo, a Portuguese legend, uh, who's played for Barcelona and Real Madrid. So, you guys, you probably will know who he is. Uh, I will leave a link to his Wikipedia page. It's a lot. It gives you pretty much all the information you need to know at the moment on the corruption case, and uh, it's still an ongoing event, still a current event in the world. But it's something I wanted to talk about in a video, and basically highlights why I think. Uh, it should happen with FIFA. Obviously, I don't really have the power to, to suggest what's going to happen with FIFA, but I thought uh, it'd be a good idea to make a video like this. And uh, yeah, if you did miss yesterday's video, I did upload Hybrid Wars episode two with Miguel. Uh, so this video is coming up on a Sunday, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for now. Drop a like on this video. Uh, if anything else happens with FIFA, any other further developments, I'll make another video, uh, maybe episode two of this. But who knows? That could be it. But uh, if anything does happen, I will make a video on it and say my opinion on what's happened. So I do apologize. I've not got a full, you know, that amount of knowledge. Of my other people might know about what's going on here. But I've tried to in, uh, highlight and indicate what I know about it and what should happen with FIFA. Uh, so, yeah, that is it for me. Like I said, we'll leave a link to this website. I'm looking at it uh, on the video in the description below. So you can look at it for yourself. Let me know who, what you think should happen with FIFA in the coming months, years and weeks and all that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Drop a like on this video. Maybe we can get the video to five likes. I'm always uh, gunning for those five likes and everything. This help uh, me and motivate me to make more videos like this. So subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. 
like the video, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think about what's going on FIFA. And yeah, that is it. Have a nice rest of your Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.